Good morning, Bali. Hey. How'd you sleep? I got a mild form of Bali belly, so I slept. Bali belly? What in the world is Bali belly? I don't really want to get into it before we eat food. Did that have, can could out. that have had something to do with the McDonald's meal that we had no, last I, night? I think it was probably the spices. Not, not too much drinking. I think it was the spices. The spices, okay. The spices so, Bali belly. Yeah, you guys A little bit of, uh, yeah, stomach uh, issues. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can uh, either join me or not. I will join you for breakfast. But the breakfasts are pretty good. They come in to the room and use the kitchen and prepare stuff. Yeah. So this morning, we've got an Indonesian classic. It's called nasi goreng. Nasi goreng. And this is available everywhere. It's fried rice. And wherever you go, you've been here for a while. They, yeah, it's, it's different, it's right? Different. Sometimes they'll come with meat. Sometimes they'll come with a side of vegetables. Sometimes it comes with crackers. Sometimes they have different things stir fried in it. But yes, they have different variations of it. But I think the basic idea is it's fried rice with something. With something. Yeah. 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 So some kind of vegetables, protein, spice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's start off with the juice. So every morning you get a juice that's like a smoothie, a freshly, what, blended, blended. juice. They use the blender. All right, cheers. This is papaya. Papaya. Mm. It's like a milkshake, doesn't it? This is, uh, this is a thick one. We have, we've tried, so you get three choices of um, fruit juices, depending on these yeah. three fruits. And yeah, we've basically. Tried, we've tried all of them. We've right. Tried all of them. These are the and three the, and the daily papaya. fruits. <laughs> papaya is the best one. We've tried all of them. Papaya, yeah. papaya juice is the best. I don't one. know. But I like I like the pineapple as well too. Papaya is king. I think papaya. You know, it'd be great if they. You're right. The little, papaya is really good. A little bit of salt would be great. You know. And then you've got the watermelon with. There's some little tiny seeds, but, but you can eat the seeds. They're like white, soft seeds. So. Yeah, no, they, don't, they don't like crunch or anything. You could just, Look, you know, they just... Pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. The fresh fruit is a nice touch. And they've also given us some fruit in the refrigerator. They are big on their fruit. A mess. So if you want, I mean, it's an all-you-can-eat kind of fruit party here. So this is a papaya. Isn't that more papaya? <laughs> yeah, these are dragon fruits. Oh and what else? There's a mango in here. It's a mango too, a little mini mango. So no shortage on the fruit. It's all-you-can-eat fruit. Yeah. Maybe we'll do one of these dragon fruits. Okay, so let's get into the nasi goden, the fried rice. And this version of it comes with a sunny side up egg, yeah? Yeah. And generally, you can eat this with a fork or a spoon. Or with your hands. Yeah, in the oh, countryside, yeah, they, yeah, they do. They eat it with their hands, yeah, don't they? So it depends on where you are. We're in a beachfront surf resort place, so no. it's pretty snazzy around here. All right, how is it? It's good. Mm -hmm. Yummy. That's good fried rice. Let's try to figure out what's in it. It's vegetable heavy. Carrots? All right. Carrots, cabbage. maybe some cabbage. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes you get little bits of chicken, meat. Chicken, yeah. Today is? Mm, Today is relatively depends on the bite. vegetarian. Mm-hmm. Oh, and we should actually get some video of them cooking it. No. And they're very friendly. I'm sure they would let us take video of it, so. It's good that the fried rice is like, you know, para para, or how do you say it? Like each, it's not clumped up together. You know what I it's mean? It's not like clumped up together. It's like the, not, each individual piece of rice is separated and like that adds to the texture. That's, that's when you know it's a good fried rice. When like, yeah, it's quite flavorful. It is. Not too spicy. No, not really spicy at all, but. No, no we're good on, the, I'm good on the mm -hmm. spices. And it's garnished with some cucumber. Mm. Mm -hmm. Cucumber or fruit? No. Well, it's cucumber or fruit? No, it's a vegetable. It's a vegetable? Mm-hmm. 
Mm. No. Mm -hmm. And then, and a bit of black coffee. Mm, coffee. No. I give you do a you lot drink? Of... You drink your coffee black? Yeah. You do. Okay. But they it's do good coffee. They do give you cream. It's good coffee. Don't okay. Drink well, black then that's the question. And what is a good coffee? It's like a like diner coffee, isn't it? I think it's good, but it's in, it's instant, isn't it? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. I don't know. The coffee that they give us is, if you want to make it ourselves, is instant. But I think maybe they brew this. They bring it in. It's very, you know, like diner coffee, like something you get at like Denny's. Like a little bit watered down okay. coffee, you know. Yeah. A little watered weak, down weak, coffee. coffee. Weaker coffee. coffee. Which is what I like, because I like to drink usually a couple cups of coffee. Yeah. So I prefer a weaker coffee. Mm. All right. What else have we not tried here? I haven't had any papaya yet. Papaya. This, so this is your favorite? And what did you say, you'd like, you prefer it with a little bit of salt? Yeah, I think fruits generally with like a bit of salt and then maybe some lime. Mm. Usually, like I think that combo kind of it makes it a little bit sweeter. Like especially like watermelon. It's pretty common in Japan. If you get watermelon, they'll put like a little bit of salt on it. And then you go to Mexico and then they put like tahini, lime and salt on your fruit. Like it's mm. a good combo. Oh, this is this papaya is the perfect fruit. Very sweet papaya. Oh, I think the papaya God, is so the best good. Thing. So good. Mm. Now it's just, now it's just bad boy. Yep. I wonder why we get. This so is much pretty rock. We're gonna have to eat this pretty soon too. But every morning we get this, so it's. <laughs> I know, right? It's an all-you-can-eat fruit party. Okay, so for those of you who have, for those of you who have not seen dragon fruit, I don't have it it's. This is what it is, and does it look like a dragon? There's a couple different types. There's the white type, and then there's the purple in the inside. So it's like it's 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 a it's a mystery. You never know which type it's going to be. And the purple one is a bit sweeter, but generally, dragon fruit Whoa. is fairly flavorless. So this is the okay good. This is the purple one. So this is the sweeter version. Wow, looks like a pomegranate. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, palm. <laughs> Doesn't it look like palm? Yeah, kind of, it but it's, like it's totally different. Oh, really? I haven't it's just a very exotic looking fruit. I know, the skin is all like... Uh, and this one, oh, you don't get much fruit for this one. Okay, so there we go. Ball. There's There's that. Is there one big seed inside this? Or? No. You oh. can just, oh, you can it's just all edible. Oh, you can just, so go, you can just go in it. like this. It would look like there's one big seed in. in it. There's these little black seeds, but yeah. they're edible, which is nice. They look like chia seeds. It gives it a little texture. Oh, this looks like a beet. <laughs> oh, a bloody thumb. Mm. <laughs> kind of like, it has a texture like a sorbet mm. type of texture. It does, doesn't right? it? Like a sorbet mm. type of texture. It's very refreshing. It's nice that it's chilled that it, yeah, you know, it tastes, came out of yeah, the refrigerator. Yeah, it tastes like a sorbet when oh, it's chilled. It's good. Yeah, like it's a little bit like sorbet. It's right? It's like a slight tanginess. It's yeah, nice, yeah. right? It's not too sweet. That's a good dragon fruit. That is pretty yeah. good. Exotic. So I think that's gonna do it for breakfast this morning. We will see you guys for the next meal. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. All right, we're here at the market. I'm gonna try to change some yen into rupiah. Oh, that's a little snacky. Oh, they got deliveries happening in here. It's pretty loud on the road outside. Yeah. Let's see here. Six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. We are out here in, what's the name of this beach? Madawi. Madawi, Madawi. Bali, Bali, Indonesia. And it's Muslim, not Hindu, around here. And they do prayer time about five times a day. So this is the noon prayer time. Lasts about 20 minutes. That one, that one yeah. looks good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 
Okay, good. Yeah, too. Yes, sweet. Thank you. All right, we are in. Indoors. The local roadside place here. The lighting's pretty good over here. So it is lunchtime and we're doing street food. Street Indonesian food. street food. So this is a, a soup, it's piping hot. And it's got, what is it? You've had this before, right? It's got bakso. a meatball in it. It's like give a, you a like bakso. I'm trying to give you a close up here. That's what it looks like. Meatballs and noodles and wonton. Looks good. And then you get it's a, it's a fried wonton. And there's some meat inside these too, right? Is there meat inside it? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Deep fried. Yeah, it looks creamy. Like, I think you need to let the soup cool down a little bit. Let it simmer down. But yeah, we'll try the wontons. We've got the camera on a tripod here. Mmm. Nice and crispy. It's like a fried wonton. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. There's something in it. Pretty good. Mmm. Oh, it is nice. The filling is very creamy. Vegetables, maybe? Lots of veggies in here. No, I heard the vegetables. All right. A lot of vegetables in here. It's very good. I like it. It's very fresh. Mm -hmm. Tastes delicious. That's good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. That's yummy. Water. Oh, water, bottled water. Because you can't drink tap water here. It's a bald move. Have you tried it yet? No. You didn't, you didn't I, don't, I don't even dare. I don't even dare. I want them. I can trust things that are fried. If it's fried, I trust it. Yeah, well, sometimes I think you're forced to drink tap water if you get something with ice in it. No. All right, and you just kind of. Like get it's a little risky. Bamboozled a little bit. Yeah. So be careful. Okay, so she said there's chili sauce here. Okay, which was recommended. If you want to heat it up. Fresh chili sauce. That looks really nice. Give it a smell test. Oh. It's probably really spicy. Okay. Go in here. Woo! It's piping hot. That shit's spicy. That did, you, spicy. did you give it a try? I dip a little bit of this in it. Oh, okay. A little That's bit the that. way to do it, all right. It's really gotcha. spicy. I get, it'll sting your tongue. Oh. Oh, I get man, they don't mess tongue, around with the spice. That's really spicy, right? <laughs> yeah. That's not like oh, goodness. That's lethal. Okay, poison. and then we've got these two. You think this is like a sweet and sour sauce? Poison? I think it's poison sauce. Poison. Poi What'd you say? Poison poi sauce? Poison sauce, like oyster poi sauce. Poi oh, okay. Oyster sauce. Poison it's really, sauce. it's really a thick. It's thick. It's like poison sauce, oyster sauce. I think. I don't know what that is, but mm. probably spicy. Okay. Dig in. Yeah, let's dig in. Let's let's give the, the soup a try. try so it comes with the fork and a spoon. Do the broth first. Ah, nice. Is nice. How is it? It's very smooth. <sighs> like pho. It's know. nice, yeah, like pho. Yeah, a little saltiness. But yeah, light. Very smooth broth, not oily. Just you know, smooth, no. very nice and smooth. Pretty good. Okay, noodles. And there's some vegetables in here, it looks Ooh. like. Um, good variety. Quite a Good variety. Yeah, very similar to a pho, isn't it? Yeah. Mm hmm. It's a light noodle. That's pretty good. It's just good. And then it's packed with other goodies. It's got a meatball here. Fish cake meatball, maybe? Just, yeah, this one's probably a fish cake. Gummy. It's kind of gummy. It's kind of gummy. Yeah. Mm hmm. This is like a. Absolutely, like a tofu, fried tofu maybe? Fried tofu it looks it like? It looks like it. 
Yeah, yeah that, that meatball, I think, was, maybe, maybe it was a fish ball. Yeah. Kind of gummy. This is tofu on the outside, but it's something in the inside. I don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. Deep fried tofu and... something mystery, inside of it. Mystery meat on the inside. There's though. something inside. Mm-hmm. What could that be? It's tasty. Are you going to try the spice? No. I already did. This is really like... Just do a little bit, but... I think I like the way it's flavored as is. But I'd like to try these other ones, so. I mean, a good way to try it is just to test it on the wonton. Mm. Alright? Test it out. Looks like ketchup. Oh, sweet, tangy. This is nice. Oh, this is very kid friendly. Uh, like a ketchup? Oh. Dessert like. Oh, really? No. Yeah. Sweet. I'm gonna put that a little bit on my meatball here. Very friendly. And love the color. Vibrant red. Yeah. This is, the, is this the same meatball? Okay, this is the giant, the, yeah, the big one. Mm, I think it's the same. That's the same thing. The same as the little tiny one? Yeah. The wonton. Wonton is very oily. <laughs> no, it's the same. Right? Nice, nice that they have napkins here for us. It's the same thing. Mm. It's the same thing, yeah. So, same thing, little gummy. Oh, fish. Fish ball. I got probably a meat cake. I think it's, it's meat. Processed meat. Yeah, I think so. Is it fish or meat? It's a mystery. Can't tell. No, it's a mystery. We'll never know. Mm. But it's good. It's, it, it tastes fresh. It hasn't been sitting out. We're getting we're early customers coming in at noon. As they as they stay open late at night here, and the the road gets really busy at night and really loud. It's loud already now, but yeah. it gets way louder because the trucks from Jakarta Come make through. deliveries yeah. all the way to Bali down here. Bali is a busy island. Yeah, four million people living here, but the local drivers and guides and people they say, but it feels like ten million people. Because the traffic is so heavy. Traffic is so heavy. Oh, that's spicy. And they don't have freeways here. It's more... Just one lane. Well, no, expressways, it's rather. Like one lane. Yeah, one lane highway that goes around the island. Ooh. But the Balinese people are very, very friendly. Yeah, Good people. Very welcoming. They do not... They do not get road rage. Right? You don't hear them, like, honking their horns, like... <coughs> You can't and get road endless, rage. endlessly. You can't road rage because you don't get anywhere. Uh, yeah. Spicy. <laughs> Slowly trying the spice stuff. God damn, is that spicy? Mmm. Oh. You put too much. Well, well, dang. Putting a little bit. Kudos for you for putting it in there, for doing it the way locals do. Yes, what we know in Indonesia is like they like their food spicy. Mm -hmm. That's a nice loud truck. There's a hill right here, so the trucks they have to chug up the hill. They're extra noisy. But it's, this is a good bowl of noodles. Mm -hmm. Very good comfort. You know, like very comfort food. Like very much like comfort food. Right, it's not too big of a portion. Not too big. Not too small. Which is good because we have that food that we just bought that we want to do as well from the street, right? So, Not more mystery food. And then that, it probably rounds out the meal, right? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I think I just put too much of that. <laughs> I am sweating. I know, just from my little taste on the wonton. It's, it's lethal. It was powering. Lethal. Overpowering, rather. It's lethally spicy. Okay, so I haven't tried this one yet. I'll do that. This is like this looks like motor oil, actually. Uh, it's po that's poison sauce. I think it's what it's oyster sauce. Oyster sauce, poison sauce. I think that's. It's not going to be spicy though, right? No, no, no. It's, it's sweet and savory. Sweet and savory, just like you said. It's is it like oyster sauce? Mm-hmm. Like a poison type of situation? No, it's more sweet. More sweet. Uh huh. Definitely more sweet. But good. All right. 
adds a lot of flavor to the wonton. Yeah, Ooh. I would have this again. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. And the price for this is unknown. unknown at this point, but I'm guessing probably about a dollar. About a dollar, I'm I think. Sweaty. Yeah, sweaty. Uh, the food, local food here out like roadside kind of stuff, very reasonable. If you go to like the places for the foreigners, for the tourists, you're gonna pay more. I mean, it's just kind of like how it is everywhere. So Anywhere don't be pizza. afraid to try the local food. Anywhere yeah. where pizzas and burgers are kind of pricey. Okay, so let's bust these guys out. What do you think? Yeah, we can try this. Try these bad boys. It's a banana. Look at how big it opens up. It opens up huge. It's like a bento box. Look at that. Okay, so it's, it's wrapped in rice. The, oh, I see. They separate the rice and the topping. Interesting. Banana leaf. Yeah. To eat with your hands. Eat with your hands. Right? You can. Mmm. Mmm. Good. That's like a. What do you think? Dried cured meat type of thing going on. Like it's like are the, these are shrimps, aren't? No, it's meat. Yeah, it's shredded meat. No. Right. Guess I'm doing noodles first. Noodles first because it's, it's stuck together. Oh, good. I like the presentation. Oh, and this is this red spice is called sambal, right? Sambal, yep. Let me get some of that. The presentation is gorgeous. No, I have an onigiri. Oh, man, it gives a lot of flavor to the rice, doesn't it? Oh, I guess it's okay to eat this in here. They're laughing at me. No. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's good. That's good. It's really like a bento box, but an onigiri one. Okay. Okay. Wow. Oh wow. That's pretty damn good. A so that wraps up a breakfast and a lunch, both Indonesian style. We're good. And it's pretty tasty. I'm still feeling the spice on my lips here, but I'm, I'm also sunburned. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. it's noon, so it's pretty hot. Yeah. It's pretty hot. Yeah, definitely feeling the, spice. the sweat beat. Yeah, the spice. I don't know if the sweat's just from being indoor, it's like the humidity or is the spice, probably both. It's a little musty. Yeah, but no complaints. Yeah. No complaints, yeah, it's a little humid. It's a little humid. But all good. So, overall ranking, you care to rate the meal? I give it a five. Five out of six? And then that's the other, you know, it's great, and I think I just knock one off because of how spicy it is. <laughs> the spice is good, but man, like yeah. if you're not used to it, like it really, so you gotta take like, this. Be a wary. Tiny, be a wary tiny of bit. how spicy <clears throat> things are here. It's good though. So I give it a five. Okay. Yeah, I, good variety of stuff I agree. Here. I think the same too. The food is the overall quality is really good. Oh, good. And this, good you know, especially the, the street food is up to par. And tasty. And, yeah, and then the you know the, the breakfast fried rice and then the noodles is good too. Yeah, right? That's good. like those are kind of the staples here, right? And yeah, actually so going to standard. We're starting off uh, kind of basic, maybe exotic to come in a future video. We'll see as we travel around for a few more days here in Bali. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Peace.